Welcome to Crafting with Louisa. Today, I've got a little Christmas um, gift box. Um, and it's a fold flat box. Um, very, I'll uh, put a link out to it. It's the same as the one that I did for the four Yankee Candle um, tea lights. And um, obviously, it's a bigger box. But it's the same idea, and it is using products from the gorgeous, um, joyous Noel um, suite. So I'm using the DSP gorgeous glimmer paper. Now I confess, I don't like glitter. Um, I never ever use it. I don't really usually like glitter paper, glimmer paper. Um, because so many times it rubs off and you get glitter. This is gorgeous. I didn't get anything rubbing off it and I rubbed it and rubbed it and rubbed it and nothing came loose. So I'm a fan of that. So I'm glad I bought that one. Um, um the ribbon as well and the uh die cut. I haven't used the stamp set on here. That's coming up in a future project. I just wanted to use the DSP. Um, so the one that I've made, um, I usually use Sahara Sand, which is one of the colours in one of the paper pack, uh, in the paper pack. Mm, sorry, I'm having a cup of tea. <laughs> um, but this time I'm using Merry Merlu, which is a new colour to me. I think it's a new colour to everyone, unless it's a returning in colour. I don't know. Um, so you will need a piece of paper, and I'm really sorry if you are watching in the states. You're gonna have to uh, use a 12 by 12 sheet of paper because um, it's 11 and a half by eight. Because um, with this style of box, I wanted the biggest box I could get without funny measurements. Um, so yeah, so you're going to score it on the long side up, um, and you're going to score it at one and a half, five, so actually it's quite a good sized box, six and a half, and ten. So that's one and a half, five, six and a half, and ten. And then you're going to turn it over and score it at one and a half, um, and six and a half. So that's one and a half and six and a half. Okay, so actually, I don't know why I put that away because I'll need it again. <laughs> And you will need um, a ruler and decide what your um, base is going to be and I'm going to draw diagonal lines from right, let's have a look oh yeah I'm going to draw diagonal lines from that corner to that corner and that corner to that corner and they're all four are going to go into that middle so if I score these, and then I'll see if I can catch it in the light. Um, cause stupidly, <laughs> I um, I should have used the Sahara Sand, which is a lighter cardstock, but never mind. Um, and although the lid. Um, is full flat. I've actually glued that. I haven't glued uh, glued it together because it gapes otherwise, which is not a good look really. Oh, but this is a gorgeous colour. This moment, eh? I mean, the colour is quite apt. <laughs> it's a kind of windy colour, so hopefully you can see if I. See those score lines are all coming into that centre one, and then for the lid, 
you're going to do these two into that middle one as well. I will, um, I will put a, um, I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll put a piece, <coughs> I'll put a um, PDF file on or a picture um, of the sheet of paper and I will do the score lines in black pen so you can see that a bit easier. Okay, so where you've got all your diagonal lines coming into the centre, um, where you've got all four going into centre, you want to cut up this side of that. Okay, so I will hover it in a minute. Okay, so you've got, cut that there and there, and this side here is the side with the four um, diagonal lines into the middle. I think that's clear. It's clear in my head, but that probably means it's muddled up. And then score on the straight lines. We'll deal with the um, diagonal lines in a minute. Just, just as I was laying this out to choose what colours to use, I'll tell you what, stamping that makes it so flipping easy to choose the colours that go with it. I mean, they really do. I'm not saying you're an idiot, but it is idiot proof. <laughs> or at least dippy proof, anyway. Right, so I've scored all them lines now. So, where these score lines are, you're going to fold it in like, whoop, you're going to fold it in like that. So you've got them coming into the middle. And it will at times feel as if you need three hands. <laughs> For me, because I'm, oops, because I'm left-handed, that side's always easier to do. <laughs> and you want to score those nice and tight. Okay. And then we're going to decorate the box before we do anything else. So I'm sorry, you probably can't see anything. But I'm just really, oh there we go, that's better. You're really just um, scoring those bits in. So the lid, you will want to punch that little handy helper. So this is just, I don't even know what that is, a half an inch circle um, in the middle. Oops, it's about to circle. <laughs> And then I've got a piece of glimmer paper, which happens to be Mary Merlot colour. And then that gorgeous piece of pattern paper, that DSP. Okay, and the sizes are, the glimmer paper is four and three quarters by three and a quarter. And the DSP is four and a half by three. Mm. And I found the best way for sticking this down is either with our sticky tape or I'm using my really strong adhesive. Because obviously the glimmer paper's, um, you know, it's, it's bumpy, it's got a texture. wouldn't use wet glue but I don't really use wet glue so if that's what you use give it a go okay and then we're gonna 
bring that back in. And for this one, I'm just going to use snail. My favourite adhesive. Well, it is if you're not doing 3D things. You know, if you're not making boxes or anything like that. And that just sits beautifully in the corner. Okay, so flip that over. And we want to add adhesive to the triangles that are facing in um, to this side. So um, you're going to put adhesive on this triangle, that triangle, that triangle, and that triangle. I hope that's clear. I always really think it doesn't look clear, yeah. Okay, because then it will enable you to fold that up. Okay. So. But I thought this would be perfect. Little pretties at Chris, like a little pair of gloves or nice cashmere socks. Because to be honest, if somebody gave me this and said they made it, I'd be well made up for that. It won't matter what was in it. Okay, so I'm going to shut that down. And then I'm just going to grab my bone folder and just give that one last burnish. Okay. <coughs> and then on the lid, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to drink a tea. So on the lid, we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to put adhesive on these triangles that are facing in. Um, and if you wanted it to be, you know, if you wanted to store these before you package things up in them, that's where you put the glue. Because as you can see, it goes flat and you can still decorate it. Um, but if I was just to put the box together and not add that ad second bit of adhesive, um, it will gape. Can you see that? So that's why I've put a bit of adhesive here, but if you weren't using them straight away, don't do that. Okay, so I'm just gonna cover half of that with adhesive. Um, but obviously don't do this part if you're doing this for storing. You know, if you make your own hand packaging for things. Ooh, dick. And then I've got some spare glimmer paper. And this lovely punch, punch which to me looks like antlers as well. So maybe we could do some antlers with it. And that'd be quite fun. So I'm just going to cut out three of these. Just going to give it a um, decoration with them, and I put two on the last one, and then I thought, oh, I'm always saying, do you think in threes are odd numbers? <laughs> so I thought I better follow my advice. So a little bit of snail on the back. You could put it all over, but I kind of like the top being a bit free. So I'm going to put it in this corner here because I'm going to tie the bow in that corner. Oh joy, you haven't got to the bow yet. And you could actually, you could have done this in the green. Um, and then you can pick those up a bit if you want to. You could have done that in the green, but got that strip left off because we're a six by six piece so I thought well I might as well use that and this gorgeous ribbon is heaven you've got like um let me bring it up you've got like a coppery 
on one side. I just really don't know if you're picking that up. Let me zoom in. Oh, there we go. You've got a copy bit on that side, which is the side I used on the other package. And then you've got um, a Mary Merlot side. Oh, heaven. So, I am going to... I'm going to use a Mary Merlot side, I think. Oh, am I? What do you think? That side or that? Right, we'll go for that. So, I'm going to hold that, get a good length. got a lovely shot of the whiteness probably then. And you haven't even seen me attempt to tie this yet. Oh, not letting you off that easy. If I have to suffer, I'm going to do that again. I've left, I've left enough. Now this will probably, it will twist up a little bit on you, so you might see the other side. Um, but you know what, Just I would just go with it. <laughs> if you want my opinion, because, you know, it's not like one side's pink and the other side's red. <laughs> I mean, they do all go. But it is lovely ribbon. Very Christmassy. You see, I've got the other side now. Oh, never mind. Okay, I'm going to trim that off. But you know what, then, it's quite cute. And actually, for me, there is an half bad, decent boo. Not the best, and it's not the worst by any means. So, you can tell which one I did on the camera with a nicer bow. <laughs> so, two gorgeous boxes. I'd be well chuffed if someone gave me a present in one of them. I wouldn't really care what they gave me um, in that box. I'd be chuffed. So, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.